How's it guys and welcome to another tutorial. This time it's for Watch Dogs. All the links are in the description below and if you want to change Watch Dogs from looking like this to this, then let's get started. Okay, the two things that you will need will be Reshade as well as the Revival, Living City uh, the worst variety pack. Well, it's, it's it's just a merge of many, many mods. So if you go to reshade, you just click the download button. You All it does, it brings you down to the bottom of the page and click on uh, reshade. Download that. When it comes to the Revival Living City uh, mod, well, it's not Living City, it's just the Revival mod. And within Revival, there's Living City, there's this 24, K24 the worst variety pack merge so it's mini mods in one where before uh you had to download download them separately now you can just download this one file there are four options so there's a darker nights one with normal weather darker nights permanent weather uh the john king 48 edited merge as well as the merge from the uploader john noir atlas 619 so the one that you're going to see and the one that's in the uh, showcase was I think it was the normal weather one but we're going to do the permanent rain one because I switched uh, a little bit afterwards uh, and for me it's just permanent rain the game always looks good instead of uh, during the daytime where but if you want that you can also download this what you could do you could also download all four. You can only use one at a time, but I will show you how you can just uh, swap them out and then you can decide for yourself. Now, the next step is that we're going to need to find out where you've saved your Watchdogs uh, install. So the easiest way for me on Ubisoft, it's kind of the same on um, Steam as well. You just go to properties of the game and then you should see an open folder over here, right? So this is the game location. So once you're there, you can just minimize uh, Ubisoft for now. And let's just move this over here. So your location will be something like this. Obviously, it will be a different drive if you saved it on a different drive. So let's install Reshade first. Locate your Reshade installer that you just downloaded. Uh, it should be 5.8.0. That's the latest one uh, today. So you'll just double click on it. Now, once that pops up, you can either wait for watchdogs to actually just come up here or or you could just go and locate it yourself which is why we need to go search for where the um, install was as well as uh, for another reason so we'll just go to f drive ubisoft watchdogs we'll go to bin and then you'll see the watchdogs.exe click once and then click open we'll click next Choose DirectX 10, 11, 12, click next. Leave this empty, click next. Here you can uncheck all and then check all. Since so we want all the effects and click next. And then just wait for everything to install. Okay, everything has been installed. You'll just click finish. The next thing is to install the revival mod. So here's our game path that we've uh, opened up. And this will be the um, my merge version 3 if you've just downloaded one of the options you will only have this one zip but if you downloaded uh, the other three or two of them then you will have the other zips as well from those options so if we go into the zip there's instructions and how to merge and it's a little bit confusing for some people but don't worry about this how to merge this guy just talking about uh, more in depth uh, if, if you want to take certain stuff out of the merge that he created. So all you'll need is just this patch file and this patch.dat file and this living city mod config.txe. Now I am going to provide my own TXE for you to decide which one you want to use that has changes already applied to it. But for now we'll just copy these three files over where we're going to copy them is in the game install folder going to data 64 and it'll be over here so what you first need to do you need obviously a, a clean copy of the game that's installed take this patch.dat and patch.fat file copy it and put it in another folder call it originals right and copy it over into here 
for those that are going to be switching out the different versions of the mod, you know, so when it's uh, either the John King version or the My Merge version or the Darker Nights version, so the normal weather and well, permanent rain weather, put it in a mod folder within this originals uh, folder. You can put it in there and you can call it John King, Darker Nights. So let's just do that. I'll just call this My Merge version and we can just so this file is just this over here you can add this as well into it but i have my own uh, version of this so that's why it's not in here and then you can have another folder and just call it the john king version and you can go into john king and you can just copy out those three files and put it in here. I'm not going to do that because I'm not because I don't need it. Now that you have the mod as well as the uh, original in the originals folder, we can go into the mod folder and choose the option that you wanted. Right click, click copy. Go back out to where all these files are and click paste. And replace and that's it for the mod we can now run the game now the next step is the reshade and how to set that up within game but after that is done you can play your game as normal and you'll have a good time but if you want to see the different versions all you have to do is play the game for five minutes and if you want to try the darker nights version then you just go back into your originals mod john king version or the darker nights version copy out that version and then just replace it and then you can play for five minutes and then you can choose another option and in that way you can quickly go in uh, play each different version of the mod and see which one you like choose which one you like delete the others and then just play the rest of the game with the um the version you want especially the the main difference is more to do with the permanent rain or the normal weather. The next step is to install my preset. So for the guys that want the ray tracing preset, what you have to do is just uh, copy over the RTGI from Pascal uh, Kilcher. But this time it will be in bin and you will see a reshade dash shaders folder. Click into that. You'll see shaders and textures. So go into your ray tracing um, file. For me, I'll choose uh, 0.36.1 and we'll open up that and we'll just click and drag that over into an empty space and then just replace whatever files that need to be replaced. Yes. As well as the motion estimation shader. This is just free performance that goes along with uh, ray tracing. This time we'll put it in shaders over there. So we'll just click and drag into shaders. I mean, it's such a small file, you don't even see it copy over. Back out one. Now to install my preset, locate your preset that you've downloaded from my Discord. There you will see RTGI as well as non-RTGI. So ray tracing or non-ray tracing. So depending on what you want, uh, you will just go into the file and you'll just copy that and paste it somewhere anywhere where the watchdogs.exe is for the living city text file now i've done some changes within my reshade preset uh, zip file that you download from my discord there's a living city normal gun limit removed it limits the amount of guns that you have which which is kind of on par with uh, watchdogs 2 but i don't really like that so I just uh, put it back to the original Watch Dogs version and that's all I've changed really in this Living City mod config. But if you want to change anything else, you can actually just go into it and you will see this is the file that you'll get, right? So one just means enabled and zero will mean disabled. So what? So you can just read what you think that you want, you know, switch zero to disable civilians to uh, disable civilian hacks or something like that. So you can change the game how you like uh, to, to play the game as well as other stuff here. So 
have a read through this and then see uh, what you want. When it comes to the gun limit, it is this one, limit, limit inventory. So default is one is enabled. I changed it to zero. That's all that uh, this file really is. And it's, and it's the only thing different from the mod itself. But if you don't have time for any of that, then you just copy that out and paste it into your watchdogs install folder data win64 like this i'll just replace mine over there and that's it now we just launch the game so when the game starts up you should see reshade open up like that on top of the screen if you don't see that then all you have to do is just go to step one and reinstall reshade right on top of the old installation that maybe never hooked in for some reason it can happen so now we'll click the home button on your keyboard to bring up the reshade menu and skip tutorial we don't need that now we in game and look how amazing this game already looks so much better so let's just go into a more lit area okay julie's calling me but for the ray tracing or for your uh, reshade preset what we're going to do is hit the home key let's just bring this thing uh, down so that i can see a little bit better we need to check the game depth so we'll just click uh we'll just choose display effect and activate it so if you see this this is incorrect so the normals are correct, but this shouldn't be black. This should be black with gray and you should see kind of the, the world. So the first thing we're going to do, we don't need to change anything when it comes to the add-ons. So you can uncheck that. Uh, I just checked it. I was doing some other checks. Go to the home tab. Let's just make this a little bit longer. Um, if we go down to the edit globals over here. So here's all your... Um, effects and you'll see just below that is edit globals if yours is set to one over here this is the reshade depth input is reversed set this to zero and then click away from it and then if we just close uh, reshade for a second and you'll see that that's how the game is supposed to look see with a little gray and you so you can see the depth once that is done we can just go back to the display effect and disable it. Now it's time to click the home button again, just to get rid of uh, the reshade menu. Go into options and go into, is it display? By anti-aliasing, everything works with the anti-aliasing, but you do get flicker for TXAA and things like that, but it might vary for you. When it comes to reshade, it's not reshade, it's uh, just the anti-aliasing implementation. Change this to FXAA. Click apply. Now it's time to activate the preset that of your choice. You'll just click on this and then you should find the preset that you've copied over into the install folder. For us, it's this one and we click select. And then you'll see my preset uh, load up. Now, this is not what my preset looks like. And remember, this is just for the reshade, the uh, ray tracing people, the normal reshade, uh, the non ray tracing people. Your game will look exactly the way uh, the showcase looked like. Well, kind of similar. Um, but this preset was made uh, almost a, a year ago or something like that. And the RTGI version that I used was i think it was 0 0.27 so if you're going to use the latest rtgi version like i'm using you'll see it won't look exactly right so all you need to do is either go back to my discord there will be an updated uh, preset which is what i'm busy with at the moment or if you've downloaded the original preset all you have to go is go down to uh color sky intensity of your um rtgi um effect and bring that down to your liking 
right so i'm just going to leave mine here uh, for a second and you can click save and there you have it you've got a modded version of watchdogs for you to enjoy and if you like this tutorial and want to see more like this then please give this video a like uh, it really helps with the algorithm and enjoy cheers bye bye